Hi guys, uh, it's morning time here on Friday the 5th of February and I said recently that I would give you a little insight um, of my craft room so here we go. I'll walk you around my craft room and talk a bit about my storage and the way that I use my space. So I'm just going to turn you around if I can figure out how to do that. Okay, I'll turn the camera off and then turn you around to the NMO. Okay, so here we have a door and then we open it and this is what you see. So I'm currently standing in my on my landing, on my small landing. Um, you'll notice that big huge rug on the floor. Um, it is a gorgeous rug, it's so soft. Immediately in front and down there, you'll see this lovely little chest. My mum gave me this chest um, because she had remembered that I'd liked it. And so when I was organising my um, dies and stamps, um, I decided I wanted to keep all my Christmas stuff together. So if we open this up, you'll see that we've got um, lots of die set so we've got a, a small um, winter wonderland small gift box from tonic which I used quite a few times this year um, hot off the press Christmas florals I won that in the competition this year and I haven't managed to use it yet um, sassy crafting I, I have used this um, is the dies that go with the stamps it should be in here oh yes here they are so these stamps um, and then yeah we've got there's a, a crafters companion um, issue which is all dedicated to Christmas so it's got like dies and stamps and papers related to Christmas it's got some magazine freebies it's got um, the main bits on this so this is how I tend to store a lot of my dies is on a magnetic sheet and then on the other side is a piece of paper in these like poly pockets. So the main dies on this are this Sizzix set, um, which I loved and I made my, the majority of my Christmas cards out of last year. So that's these. And then there's a few extra bits like the bauble and a snowflake in a tree and stuff, which I've acquired from various places. I've also got um, embossing folders in here. Lots of uh, Christmassy embossing folders. So this is basically where I keep everything related to Christmas that is that is just for Christmas um, in that little box there. Get back in there. So next to it, we've got a plug, which says full press on it. And this. Uh, so I treated myself to a Gemini foil press because um, I'd wanted one for ages um, and I, there was a really good offer on uh, on eBay so I treated myself to a foil press and because I've already got a Gemini machine that's why I want, went for the Gemini brand foil press because it just made sense to sort of you know buy something that worked with what I already had and then I have um, to get myself started. I've got in here um, we've got some strip dies some for these are foiling dies so I've got this one I've got um, with love I've got joy and then some more generic ones like a swirly one I haven't actually say I haven't actually used any of these yet. Ultimate Crafts Hot Fall Stamp. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Another one, Bohemian Bouquet. And then I got myself a good little selection of um, foils. So here, my friends, we have um, this unit which I got from Hobbycraft, which I really like. It I like the pastel colours. I like the fact that it's on wheels so you can move it around. Um, so on the left here we've got my Big Shot uh, Plus, the A4 size one. And then on the right hand side we've got two, we've got a paper trimmer, an old woodware 
paper trimmer, which I got in a bundle. Um, and with these, you can get a few different types of um, things. You can get straight cutting ones, you can get deckle decal edge. It can be a bit tricky to get hold of um, the replacement blades for these, um, I've found. But um, I have got a few, like I've got a nice deckle edge one that I've used quite a few times. Um, and this is a guillotine which works, but I don't usually use it. Um, that came in a bundle. So when I was getting started crafting, I bought myself a few bundles of things. So these two both came in bundles. Um, but yeah, this was my first, my first baby that I bought. Um, and then down here, so underneath, it looks a little bit messy, but I know exactly what's there. So we've got some laminating pouches. We've got some nine by 12 black um, cardstock um, black paper pad from Spectrum Noir. Um, I've 89 pound, 240 GSM. So it's, it's quite a nice thickness and it's brand new. I haven't used that yet. I got that in the um, Crafters Companion sale that they were having last year. Um, and then I've got three packs of A3 pearlescent paper in, in different colours. Under here, we've got envelopes. So, a couple of packs of five by sevens. Some, these are all A6 and A2, I believe. Yeah, that's an A6 and these are A2. I've got another A6 under there. And then this is a pack that I bought from... Um, it's a hunky dory one. I bought that from Craft Stash when it was on sale. It was on one of their Tuesday uh, special deals that they have for premium members. Um, um, so you get it was just a really good deal. So forty cards and envelopes of varying sizes, and I've used quite a, quite a few of them. So they live under there. Um, this bottom drawer here is envelopes and card blanks. So like that bit under there was like the overflow section really so i've got some seven by seven ones in ivory um some usa six ivory uh six by six white um and then just a few other different types i've got some craft ones some woodware I've got a couple of huge ones that came in a bundle. I don't know if I'm ever going to make a card that big, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, envelopes. This is really good. Um, I really like this brand, Craft UK, 5x7 white cards and envelopes. So I've used quite a few of these. I think it came in a pack of... How many is in there? Um, 50. And that was a really reasonable price. So as you can see, I've, I must have used 25 because there's, there's half of the envelope's gone. Um, I bought a couple of these larger size envelopes which fit. I'm not sure what size it is, but when you fold an A4 sheet in half, um, they fit that size because I had made a couple of cards and then realised I didn't have any envelopes big enough. I've got a few here with decorative things on them, which again, I got in a bundle, but that's not really my bag, so I don't know. I might just cover those completely. Um, and then and I've got like a shed load of these. Um, and they're six by six um, craft envelopes. Um, for like really cheap for a couple of quid off eBay. Um, and then I've got a big pack of five by seven um 50 card blanks and envelopes which i've used quite a, a few of these these are um i've got some that's one of my hairs they just get everywhere anyone else with long hair will understand my plight um we've got cards and envelopes here um so there's some dl cards card blanks and envelopes dl envelopes um and here we've got um just like some Pearlescent envelopes, um, just different colours, like a bright pink, purple. So just random, random cards, cards and envelopes really that didn't come in a set as such. As I'm showing you all this, I'm really intrigued to see how, what 
what people think and how you guys go about storing your cards and envelopes and crafting supplies in general so i'm hoping that this video is going to be useful for you and um, if anyone's struggling to, to sort of figure out their um how to store their supplies um but please also you know i generally be genuinely believe every day is a school day so we always learn from each other so please do um uh, feel free to to comment in the comments about how you store your things these two drawers here are uh, papers, paper and, and card pads. So I've got, um, <laughs> I'm, a few, I'm a huge Potter fan. So we've got uh, an A4 paper kit with all these different designs. Um, yeah, so we've got Harry Potter stuff. Um, I've got all different brands. So here I've got some pearlescent. Um, in a sort of little, that looks like a five by five paper block. Um, lots of different brands. Um, lots of different colours. I've got like smaller pads in here. This one's a really pretty one. Some of the sheets on here are glittering, as you can see. I've, I've used some of that. Look at how pretty little birds are all glittery. It's gorgeous um, and then you get some plainer ones as well but even that that's textured so yeah basically papers so we've got smaller ones there um just loads of different types different brands different types <laughs> these i couldn't resist buying them because i love that retro pattern these are actually wedding invitations on that side so it's like you fold them up into a little box Fold them up into a little box and make a wedding invitation, but I got them from a charity shop for like a quid or something because and there's like loads of them because I just love the pattern. So again, that's like an impulse buy for like a quid that I'm gonna do something with at some point. Um in the top drawer, let's move you move up a bit now. My minis. My minis. Um some holographic little um cards there and um, this is some um one of the freebies from the recent clearly besotted haul this is all metallic different shades of metallic um sorry pearlescent sorry paper then i've got some of my tonic paper uh paper pads in here six by six paper pad i've got a couple more Harry Potter ones. So like I said, I'm a bit of a pothead, and uh, there was this this deal going on, and I got basically like loads of Harry Potter dies and uh, and paper of different types, and um, I made my dad. I'll see if I can find a photo of, of, of it and add it to the end of the video. But I made my dad this Christmas uh, box, and I used um, like I cut out like the characters and put them on the sides and stuff because my dad likes Harry Potter as well. Uh, and we've got some like ombre type paper, um, more clearly besotted paper from the other release that I've got. I've got a Sarah, Sarah or Sarah uh, paper pad, Garden of Love, and foil effect on there. Lots of nice papers. Got this uh, shaker kit from Simply Made Crafts, which I haven't had to go with yet, but um, I will have a look at that at some point. And then I've got some really fancy paper that I just don't want to touch. This Laura Ashley stuff. Um, oh, let me just see if I can take take a sheet out and show you and see what I mean. And if any of you are like me, you'll know what I mean. This, it's like velvet flocked. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just like, it's one of those things. I need to use it because I'll be, it's stupid it just sitting there, but it's gorgeous. Not all of them are. Some of them are just like really beautiful patterns, but some of them like this, this is another one. It's That's velvet flocked. It's, it's gorgeous. So if you like that kind of thing, that really decorative sort of, I think it's kind of old fashioned. Well, not old fashioned, it's, it's a classic. It's timeless classic. Uh, Eco-friendly paper mania, botanical handmade papers. These are also flocked. Um, 
which is just really, really interesting, really nice, some nice colours there. And then I've got a couple of paper pads from my friend um, that I won on Instagram. Um, and these are absolutely beautiful. I think is it this one? Yeah, this is the one that I was, I've used quite a few sheets of this. Yeah, uh, for my Christmas card. So this is a Polish brand. Um, it says it's got look, you know, handily for non-Polish speakers. because it's got something snowy and coffee stories. So you know, this one's got like coffee beans and stuff. Um, so yeah. It's nice to experience different types of papers. And then um, some more uh, papers in there, predominantly Christmassy ones. And then this one, um, this is like a box where I keep things like vellum. So I've got printable vellum from Crafter's Companion, speciality papers. So again, I've got some pearlescent ones in here and this really funky shiny one. I've got some handmade papers, random scraps of glitter, more pearlescent, and I have tried to organize it so all the golds are together. But you know, just like like unusual things, like this is like a, like a texture, as well as, well as it being pearlescent, you can probably see that it's got like a, a, a weave texture on it. So these are like my more unusual things basically. And then, this side is um, cardstock. So the top drawer is heavyweight cardstock or white heavyweight white cardstock or good quality white cardstock. Um, so for example, I've got some uh, Nina Classic Crests in here, which I use for stamping on. Um, some ultra smooth 240 GSM craft, um, tonic craft perfect. Uh, I've got watercolor paper in here as well from different brands, Windsor and Newton craft perfect. Um, I've got a couple left of this one. Uh, Matt Tastic, adorable, scorable. So I've, you can see I've written on there 350 GSM card base. So this is like my heavier stuff. Um, I've got some Spectrum Noir liquid media paper, which I haven't tried out yet. Upo paper. Uh, another A4 watercolor pad. Another A4 watercolor pad. Um, this is A4. Uh, recycled white 250 GSM so again like thick enough for a card base um, and then these ones which I've put little post-its on so like textured so this is like nice quality but it's got like a texture to it and then this is smooth so some again, some of that I've got in like bundles. So um, it's just been about um, labelling things up. Um, but I've tried to use up the things that I've got in bundles, you know, that I got to got me got to get me started, and then buy things that I know that I'll actually um, use and what I like now. So that's um, good quality or and heavyweight white cardstock. Next one down. We've got some more watercolour or mixed media card. Um, mixed media sketchbook. Again, like I got, I'm not the kind of person that would go out and do sketches, but I bought this because it was on offer and it, it's it's good for all um, different types of products. You, you know, you can use it wet and dry. Um, it's heavyweight paper and it was on sale. Um, this is a bundle of white um different types of white cardstock i think this is from sizzix um so you've got some glitter and some pearlescent etc in there cream colored cardstock so similar to this but this is cream so if i wanted a cream or an ivory uh heavyweight cardstock either textured or non-textured that would be in this drawer because uh, there is a bit of an overflow of, of the watercolor media so I tried to organise it by type, so 
white heavyweight, cream heavyweight, this um, gold dust, pink. So yeah, this is all my glitter cards basically. And the ones at the bottom are like, there you go. So I've got some like single sheets that I've got in bundles of like random colors. Um, and then there's some like uh, pearlescent. Oh, yeah, shoot me like that's pearlescent like a bluey gold and then I've got gold as well so these are ones that came in a bundle this one is um colored cardstock but that is not heavy enough to be construction weight so I can't make card bases from it but so this is die cutting type card really so I've got this pack which hasn't got the cellophane on on anymore but it's a Sizzix one and it's neutrals so it's got black white gray buff you know all these sorts of colors and it's it's nice it's textured and um, i find this person to be very similar to that do crafts paper mania one which you'll see in a minute so that's for my like die cutting and stuff and um, yeah this is the, the the one that i was saying so <clears throat> do crafts paper mania text premium textured cardstock so this is the same it's 216 gsm um solid core so you know you've got no white bits in the middle it's all the way through um i've got some um again th this is assorted sheets of sizzix um cardstock of the same gsm which came i bought their i think it was like it was one of their craft kits um with a spring wreath and that's the paper that came with it um and this is, how do I describe this drawer? So this is white and cream card that doesn't fit the bill of either of these two. It's thinner, it's paper, it's not card. So, and then I say, these are only in here because I haven't got enough room in there. And um, this last one is a bit of a mixture. So we've got some graph paper um, that I've had around for ages. Um, a couple more random sheets of paper, some card, 20, 20 pack, 200 GSM, and that was, yeah, from the work through quid. Um, and then I've got some just unusual typed cards, so I've got some interesting, unusual card in, in lo lovely colours. Um, I've got like coloured vellum and patterned vellum in here. Um, so a lot of these it's like I've got I've got in bundles and um, some unusual stuff like zebra patterned um, like fluorescent card so that is a thick one actually so I could make a fluorescent card base out of that um, but a lot of it is is paper so this is a sort of uh, miscellaneous miscellaneous I know it's miscellaneous really God, I like saying words in funny ways so when i first started paper crafting that's what i got to store my paper and i thought oh yeah so that's going to store all my paper in envelopes <laughs> how wrong was i so next we have this the tower we have the tower so oh it looks a bit like the leaning terror of pizza pizza or pizza um but it's all it's all labelled, so I'm really proud of myself that I did this. So this box, the top one, blue, green, aqua, duck egg. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I'm a bit of a an addict when it comes to speciality and pretty card socks and papers. I really like these nine litre capacity boxes. You can get them from Hobbycraft, you can get them from um, Amazon. I think they're about six quid, something like that. This is gold, rose gold, copper and craft. The next one we've got silver, pink, purple and red. The next one we've got heavyweight and patterned. So in here I've got like my adorable scorable in the matte and the shiny. Um, and then some patterned papers. Um, 
and cardstocks. And then we've got four boxes of 12 by 12. So in this one, I've got 12 by 12 Craft Perfect. So that's the tonic range. And as you can see, I've got a range of different colors. And then also it says Tonic Craft Kit. So you can just see that there's a couple of envelopes in there. So when you get the Tonic Craft Kits, they come with about, between about six and eight sheets of uh, card so if i so any bits i've got left over i write on the envelope which kit it is and i store it in there and then the next three boxes are patterned paper pads of 12 by 12 and um, to the left i've got my adorable scoreboard which I am denied about getting one of these, but I'm really glad that I did, did in the end because I do like to make my own card bases. I know you've just seen that I've got a lot of card blanks and with envelopes, but um, I do actually make my own. And this is the, is it called the, like, the Ultimate Pro? The Ultimate Pro from, from Crafter's Companion, which can do all sorts of stuff. Um, it tells you on here you can like how to make an eight for a a five gatefold, a four gatefold, trifold, half fold, etc. And um, yeah, the ultimate pro from uh, Crafters Companion. And this here is an envelope maker, so I do make my own envelopes as well. Um, up at the top of the tower we've got craft kits that I've bought and not used yet. I either haven't made a project from it yet or I've only used one component from it so I still want to give it a good bash because over here is where I store the kits that I've made several projects from so I don't want to disassemble these until I've made at least one project from it. Um, so for example, one of these, like I only, it came with a stencil and I know use a stencil and an embellishment mousse to make a card, but I don't class that as enough to call that done, if you know what I mean, and then transfer it into there. Um, I've got a couple of um, the premium magazines. So I think that one came in the Crafters Companion bundle. This is a tonic one. I've got some Paper Craft Society um, craft kits. So I've got the one from Lou Collins, which I really wanted because oops, because it's got ink in there and like loads of other amazing things. Um, I've got this one, which is nature themed card making magic. I like Christina Griffiths' stuff. Um, I, I'm not subscribed to this. I just buy the, the odd one off kit because I'm subs subscribed to the tonic kits and I can't afford to be subscribed to too many kits. Um, I've got this Spellbinders card kit of the month, um, which I haven't played with yet. It's just got loads of stuff in. And the reason I've got that was because it's got these really cute little, um, little kitty stamps. How cute is that? Look at the adorable kitties and like the really scripty, lovely writing. I just couldn't resist. So, so that's that. And to say, if I, I just feel like if I keep them here, then I'm now okay. I haven't used that yet, so I need to use it. Um, same with my Ulta New New Day kit. Um, the other one, I haven't got two the same. I think the other one's got scraps in it. Oh no, the other one I've used to sc to store uh, my pro markers and my, um, what are they called, those things that you can write on everything with, Posca, Posca pens. And then we've got a few um, Spectrum Noir classic and illustrator markers that I couldn't store in my main box. So that's some storage. So I probably will have to find a new place for that at some point because that shouldn't be with that section. As you can see, I'm quite organized. I like everything to have a place. That, that really helps me. And if you're struggling, I would just say, try and make sure that everything has a logical place. 
yeah if you're struggling to find things just give everything a logical place and then you know if you're careful and put things back once you've finished using it in the proper place then you shouldn't worry about not being able to find things now to this corner of the room we have this box which is my spectrum noir illustrator markers and tri-blend markers that's in this box and in this binder this drawer is uh, gift bags packaging that i might reuse tissue paper sellotape parcel tape and um, but the top drawer is craft related so i've got some couple of packs of rocker blocks in here um I've got sparkle pens, more sparkle pens, um, is there any biscuits left in here? This was a little box of biscuits, oh, which I've now got uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Shaw's in. So because when you're crafting, you get peckish, don't you? So hence, of course, I've got some sweeties in there. Uh, in here, I've got my label maker, which I bought secondhand off eBay which enabled me to make all those lovely labels. Um, over here I've got all my hand lettering stuff, so um, the freebies that came with the magazines, some books that I've purchased, and like all my practice sheets. Um, <clears throat> Adventures in lettering, layout pad, uh, yeah, so it's all stuff to do with like hand lettering and stuff over here, really. Some Bristol. I read that um, the Bristol Smooth cardstock was best for um, lettering because it's really smooth. Um, so I bought this pad. Um, and then I also found some on eBay, which was a lot cheaper. I haven't done a direct comparison, but um, it's just called Bristol Borge in bright white 250 GSM. Um, and so I bought a couple of packs of that. And then I've also got another pack of 300 GSM white smooth paper. So because I got into hand lettering and um, colouring with alcohol markers you need to be really careful what paper what paper you use cardstock you need to use um smooth cardstock that's not going to damage the nibs of your pens and nice and bright white these i love uh, my pentel um brush pens i've got some um, more cassettes for my uh, label maker. I got these at a bargain because they're ribbon. So this is gold uh, writing on pink ribbon and this is gold writing on white ribbon. And um, to the person who bought them didn't realise that it was not, you know, the regular plasticky stuff. And I, so I got these for like a quid and I was like, oh, that's great. I can use those in card making. Um, I've got some... Uniball fine line drawing pens, more pens, <laughs> Kelly Creates uh, black brush pen set, um, some more Pigma pens in, in different sizes, um, paracetamol, you know, things essentials for the craft room. If you get a headache, you don't want to be interrupted. Paracetamol. Um, some polos, obviously. Why would you not have that in your craft room? And this, I bought a bundle of, before I got this, I bought a bundle of Spectrum Noir alcohol markers from eBay. So I've got already got loads of different colours of this. And then this is a box that's a nice sturdy box. You can just see there. This um, stored heat pads in. You know, those like heat pads that like when you you got a tummy ache or something's hurting and you stick it to yourself. So basically I decorated it using stamps and um, and, and die cutting and washi tape. And uh, yeah, I made my own little box for my Spectrum Noir alcohol. Um, uh, aqua markers. 
Um, in here, I've got two boxes. Again, this was a treat. I treated myself to two packs. Uh, so I've got like loads of different colours of Spectrum Noir sparkle pens. It's got um, spring summer collection and vintage hues. So they're obviously lovely glittery pens. Um, got some Crayolas that I've had for ages, but um, they're meant to be quite good for hand lettering as well. So hence I've bothered moved them into this drawer. Bought some of this sticky adhesive because I've seen other people use it and I didn't have any. Um, so I've bought some of that, but it's, it's, I haven't used it yet. I bought myself a cr crocodile. Uh, with we are memory keepers in a little box. So that's an eyelet setter and it's got some eyelets already with it and I've used that a couple of times on a couple of different projects. And then here are some of my Prism uh, water-based brush markers. Um, these should be downstairs with the other um, like three packs of them that I've got in all the different colours. So let's keep them out and then we can take those downstairs and they should live again following my own advice if everything has a place you're not going to lose it so over here we have paint brushes and we have little embellishment -y type things in a jar we have more embellishment sequins lots of little things we have a button jar we have this really cute aubergine thing that I bought from a charity shop for like a pound fifty or something, which is this main aubergine serving dish. Um, and then these little like fishes. But the reason I've got these is they're good for, um, you know, if you're wanting to adhere tiny little embellishments, um, then you can just pour a, a, a few into there and then like pick them up with your little sticky, um, where is mine? It's something like this. So I've got the um, a jewel picker from uh, Marvy. Um, so you, you know you pick them up like that. But there's the, those wax pen things as well that I know a lot of people use. So yeah, when I saw that for a pound fifty in the Chazza, uh, I was like, right. Well, that's clearly going to come home with me. And I've also used it when I've done um, inlaid die cutting using very intricate little pieces. Um, these couple of things aren't craft related. That's just like CPD stuff from past jobs and that, like training courses I've been on. These are knitting magazines and craft magazines. Um, down here I showed you, this is where I store my tonic craft kits. Uh, once I've I've used them and made several projects from them. One of my my most recent make. Um, so if you like the look of that, there's a video of me making that on my channel. Some toilet roll for the odd drippy nose. We've got um, a handmade storage um, pot from some cotton buds that I made using washi tape, where I store my. Nouveau Dream Drops. Uh, in this little part, I've got some Nouveau Glimmer, Glimmer Flakes. Glitter, glitter Flakes? Glimmer Flakes. I haven't got around to using them yet, but I've got two little pots, so they're stored in there. Uh, here, I've got baby Nouveau Drops. Oh, I need some of my juice, guys. I'm looking thirsty. Just a wizarding girl living in a muggle world. <laughs> Took the Hogwarts train going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> then I've got a spray bottle uh, filled with water. Another spray bottle filled with water and another type of bottle that I could put water in. Um, and these are for when I'm making projects using distress inks and the plan is that I will um, use one of them with some um, perfect pearls as well so I can make my own shimmer paper. Um, here's a little stack of washies. Um, I've got 
two little washi holders and dispensers. So these are quite cute because they um, tear off like that. It's quite handy. Um, I'm going to put that in the bin there. Right, and this side, so I've, I've done my storage quite inexpensively. So all of these were from Poundland, so they're a quid. Um, you can see on the top there's a pile of dies, die sets um, and some more goodies here. So these I won in a competition last week and they arrived yesterday, so I haven't had a chance to play yet. These are new things that I want to play with soon, but haven't yet, so they're on top. But basically, I've got these storage wallets where I store my die sets in, and I put two in each one. This one is um, magnetic sheets. As I showed you, I store them with magnetic sheets on one side um, and the die on the other side. Uh, and sorry, in a piece of paper. Some random things like chipboard, chipboardy type things. Um, that's craft foam, heat resistant acetate. Um, but mainly, so these two, four, six folders are all dies. This is stencils. This is uh, like transfer sticker type things. There's more stencils here. And there's more stencils here. So it's just a mixture of stencils and dyes all over here. And I've labeled some of them. So this one is sentiments. So I've labelled sentiments and nesting dies, and I think which, which one's the nesting? Is the nesting the black one? Yeah, so I've labelled nesting dies. So that could probably do with a little bit more of a, of a tidy up, but it's not too bad. Um, they need to be used soon and then put away. This was another thing that I got from the pound shop. Um, it's it's like this lid or base, and then it's got different sized compartments. So in here I store um, journal um, journals and um, spare plates for my Gemini Mini. So they get quite beat up, but they they're still usable. And so yeah, I've got spare ones of those in there, and some washi tape washi tape strips. These, I was quite pleased with myself with regards to this because, ladies, you might have seen these when you've ordered your uh, lady products, sanitary towels. Um, one brand, Body Form, went through a phase of giving you loads of these tins. And I said, well, I mean, I'm sure they'll come in for something, but I don't really want to like put a couple of sanitary towels in there and then carry that around with me. So what am I going to do with it? So my friend this is what I did <laughs> I put all sequins in there so when I bought a job lot of sequins I put them in there and this one is like little paper scraps which I thought might be useful for um, you know putting in shakers next over here we have some uh, Sukuneko shimmer spritz um, there's two different types in here. There's frost and sparkle, um, and which I used quite a bit. And I've also got the um, shimmer refill. I've got some Nuvo Micro Mist. That's from the latest kit, and these were from um, Mystery Bundles. Um, this is a sparkle spray from kit 39. Got my Ranger Glossy Accents here and my Nouveau Crystal Glaze, which these two are very similar to each other. And then in here we've got some rulers, um, spatula, had a blended spatula, some different mixing brushes, um, and then just a few different types of spatulas 
um, for spreading pastes and mousses and whatnot. Right, okay, so this this is my workspace. Um, so that's a, that's a chair, just in case you didn't know. Um, and then on it is what I plan to do today, which is Tonic Craft Kit 40. I'm gonna do some more playing about with that and making um, a card or two with that. So that's why that's on the chair, obviously it's not normally there. Then here I've got my Tim Holtz Tonic Glass Mat which I really wanted and hubby got me for my birthday last year. But before I had that, I used this cutting mat, which is uh, inches on one side and centimeters on the other side from Amazon, which was quite reasonably priced. And then, oh, I need to obviously do a bit of cleaning. Um, and then because I wanted a glass surface, I bought this glass cutting board from the pound shop. Um, so these two, served me perfectly well until I've got that. And then here we've got this device, which um, I tasked hubby with getting me, getting for me for Christmas. So that is where um, I do my filming. So I just put my phone into there and then angle it over so that it it's in the right spot for when I do my videos. Um, up here I've got like a sort of, well it started out as a vision board but as you can see it sort of morphed into a place where I just keep things that inspire me or I think are pretty or I've sampled, you know, like here we've got me swatching out the colours in the um, Crafters Companion shimmer pens, blue topaz, emerald green, rose quartz, etc. These are the Nouveau glitter markers that I've swatched out. This is one of the bright rose dyes with the shadow dyes, but again, if you're a Potter fan, you'll know what that means. Um, these little things are all the cute cards that come with the clearly besotted orders. Um, I've got a badge. When you feel like quitting, remember why you started. And then up here we've got a shelf. So we've got a big picture, which is of a Patronus, which is a Harry Potter thing. That is my mum's birthday card, which I need to post to her. Here we've got some ribbons and my swatched out Nouveau drops, which also continue around here. So as you can see, I've got quite a few Nouveau drops. And then up here are still all my sequins and um, things of that ilk. Rainbow quartz triangles, iridescent eye stars. I really like Pusheen, um, so I bought this uh, Pusheen holiday stamp set, which is these little rubber mounted teeny little stamps in this cute box. Um, I also like plants, the house is covered in plants. Um, so up here we've got um, a dragon plant and I don't know what this one's called but got um, this mug with some pre preheat embossed sentiments on black and white cardstock mainly congratulations and thank you and stuff like that um, and then these are the bottles of Cosmic Shimmer which are running out so I'm just storing them in there upside down. This is how I store my stamps presently. So this one is rubber stamps, or it's meant to be, but it's sort of morphed into rubber stamps and, or, no actually it always was, it's rubber stamps and sentiments or words and numbers and stuff. Um, but then there's some other random stuff that creeps in there, like that's a tag, but it's a tag, but it's got words on it, on it. So yeah, sometimes it's difficult to categorize things, things properly or exactly, but you know, lots of different brands. Um, this one, these are some, some shaker elements, shaker die sets. My embossing folders are stored here. I don't actually have that many really. 
um, like some of ones that are free with magazines, some are bought in little bundles. Here we've got some reindeer moss, which um, I bought for a project. In here we've got like small dies. So this is just like a photo album, but it's got smaller dies. So for example, this lovely little tree by Spellbinders, which I've made a couple of really pretty cards. There's a Gemini pop-up element. Um, yeah, some more Spellbinders. Um, so like smaller dies that will like fit in here are in here. Um, this is a mixture. Well, it's, it's primarily it's stamp sets or stamp and die sets from magazines. That's where I keep all, all of them in this um, like thing from the pound shop. So this is more of again it's just more stamps but in here there's more sort of there's a lot more I tend to keep a lot of my American brand stuff in here like um my sentiments exactly the fox says um paper tray um Simon says stamp I've got a few Simon says stamp sets that I bought um, so in second hand so paper smooches um, so things that, that it's more difficult to get in the UK and if you can it's expensive so I tend to buy them um, second hand or when I find them um, it's a really nice one here my favourite things uh, I'm always here for you just try and get rid of me. If I could make it better, I would, etc. So, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of my American type ones in there. That's a recent card I've made. A few of the recent cards that I've made and put in wallets with envelopes. And this box here stores all of my cards and projects that I've made. So, these need to go, these ones need to go in there. But I haven't got around to doing it yet, so at the moment they're just living on top of the. Stay where I've put you, please. I need to write that soon. And then in this box, we've got all my clearly besotted stamps. We've got my lawn fawn stamps and corresponding die sets. Um, some of which I haven't used yet. I got them when, when I saw them for a bargain. I've used that one quite a few times. That's really cute. Um, and Daisy May. I love Daisy May things. Um, I love the coffee and tea set. I bought this at the same sort of time as I got the um, the shaker ones for from Tonic. Um, there was an offer on. Um, but I've got, I love this range, the ones with the fairy, like fairies and elves and toadstools and stuff like that. Uh, so I've used most of these. <laughs> Good little washing line. But some of them I haven't used yet. Um, so, for example, I haven't used this nice big one yet. I haven't, oh, I've definitely i definitely used this one a couple of times. Um, I haven't used the tree stump yet, and I haven't used the pumpkin house. I bought them again when they were on offer. Um, I've got this um, Stampin' Up. I think that's the only Stampin' Up Stampin' Die set that I've got, and that's, um, I love mandalas and patterns and things, so that's a set that I bought secondhand. It's got some lovely sentiments and stamps and dies to make patterns with. Um, I love sloths, so I bought this uh, sloth stamp set, which I'm going to use soon. I, I like layering sets as well, so I bought a bundle of these. That one, I don't know the brand. This one is Hampton Arts. Um, I've got this Altenew Hydrangea one, which I've used, is really pretty. 
Um, I've got this Simon Says stamp, um, little woodland critters, which I've made a few cards from. Um, I've got some another Altenew layering stamp set. I haven't used that one yet. Peony bouquet. Um, so yeah, just more. These these tend to be a mixture of um, like specifically like clearly besotted lawn fawn and daisy may and then some new ones that i haven't used yet and i want to use um i always keep a bottle of water to water the plants and a toilet a uh, kitchen roll holder kitchen roll um to wipe up any messes um, yeah that's definitely gonna have to edit this down this is way longer than i had i had anticipated here we have a brown bag from papa john's um from my recent order from papa john's this is another one of the um thing that you saw of the other side so this is if i'm sat at my desk here i literally turn to my right and this is what i've got on this end i've got um recyclable materials so i'll put all my paper and stuff in there this one is non-recyclable uh, things i've got my tonic super trimmer here so these are the ones i actually use uh, most often so i've got my tonic super trimmer and um, i've got my little mini tonic tim holtz guillotine which i love underneath that is my um stamping platform which again gets a lot of use and this is a heat resistant mass uh, which i got from craft stash which i just keep rolled up um, the top drawer here is often used items so um glues scissors different adhesive types um tweezers i love these self gripping tweezers um i've got the tonic pokey tool and craft knife on there on offer um, I've got one of these amazing things, a sticky stuff remover, which I definitely recommend. I've got some spare blades for the woodware trimmer. Then in here we have inks. So this is all of my distress inks. So I've got quite a few in here with some blending sponges and uh, got a distress stain, which I haven't tried yet. A few distress inks. I've got a few distress oxide ink refills. Um, I've got a, this is a nice prism ombre one, which gives some nice interesting effects. These are all my eyes ink ones. Um, I've got some more of the minis and then the rest are here. Um, so I only have a couple of Distress Oxide pads. Uh, these take up a lot of room in storage and I, I've realised I actually prefer using the smaller ink cubes and you know there's, um, they're easier to store so this is more inks so I've got the entire collection of the prism ink pads all stored in these little boxes um, and then I've got some Nuvo hybrid inks and this kaleidoscope one This is scraps and sort of things that I, I can reuse. Like I think I can re I can use that where I want um, a skinny frame in that pearlescent colour. Um, you know, some spare holographic card, bits and pieces, some um, yeah, just different die cuts that I've put in there, and um, a paper pad. Oh, a paper pack which, which has only got a few bits left in uh, this drawer is baby wipes and um, I save um, like bag when when things come in the post in bags I save them and use them as rubbish bags uh, and then this bottom drawer is um, cello bags cello, cello phone bags um, I've also got under here um, masking paper and double-sided adhesive sheets. Over here we have, this is my heat embossing drawer. 
and it's also got glitters. So I've got some of the big Nuvo glitters. I've got Heat Tool. I've got um, some smaller glitters. This one, oh, it's got some embossing powders on there, but it's basically got my embossing powder bag, my Versa Mark ink pad, and a range of different embossing powders. That's what's there. And then that in that green tub, that's glitters. And these bits of paper to the side, um, I just reuse and I write on there like, so this one, Cosmic Shimmer Ancient Copper, so I'll use that um, piece of paper um, when I use that colour. This one is colouring mediums. Um, so I've got a recent purchase of Gansai Tambi Starry Colours Watercolours, which I am loving. Um, I've got my Prismacolor pencil crayons, which I really love. I've got a bit of cardboard, which I use to colour uh, when I'm colouring with alcohol markers. I've uh, got some Arteza watercolour pencils. I've got... Um, these are my, my Arteza real brush pens. Uh, I've also got the Zig Clean Colour Real Brush Pens, but they're kept downstairs. Um, Nuvo, most of the Nuvo alcohol markers I've got are in there, but um, this, it's not, uh, I can't fit any more in there basically, so these Stormy Grey ones are just still in the pack on top. And then down here, this is where I store, this is some paper. Um, I've got like a little sewing kit thing, a storage thing, but in here is basically my Nuvo embellishment mousses, um, glimmer pastes and glacier pastes, they're all stored in here and at the bottom there is my stamp cleaner and I've got a spare ink storage little thing there. <laughs> Papa John's bag will be used for recycling once this one is full. Here we have Nouveau drops. So all of my Nouveau drops are stored in there. This is my gluing board. So it's just a, a chopping board that I got from the paint shop. And when I have to glue things or do anything a bit me like messy, uh, I do it on there. This is my book where I do all my swatches of, of uh, inks and pens and things. This is my drawer of um, ink. So we've got dye based inks and ink tools, ink blending tools, um, blocks, um, sponges. And then this one is um, pigment inks and hybrid inks. And then we've got some stays on over here in the corner. Um, and some Ranger matte medium. Um, got some stamp cleaner for if I use like stays on, but I haven't used it yet. This one is all embellishment things, and I've got all my spare, my extra washi tapes, and so I alternate them with the ones that I showed you earlier. Next door is similar. Um, so also I've got brads. Um, some things that I don't need yet so for example um, spare embellishment pads scissors the last bit is my bottom drawer which is ribbon and twine and glues and spare um, uh, paper trimmer thingies and I love that this thing can just be wheeled around. It's really handy. We have my Gemini machine here. So this side of the room is my home office. So I'm on annual leave today, but for the rest of this week I've been working from home. So this is my work desk. So when I'm working, this is on there. Um, next to my little snap, uh, craft file snap machine which is like um you know obviously a smaller version of a of an electric die cutting machine i love i love this it's great it's really good quality 
Hi guys, thanks for visiting with me today. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, uh, this little insight into my crafty space uh, that I know that I'm very lucky to have. Um, if you have any questions for me or any comments or any hints and tips, uh, which are always fab, um, or you just wanna let me know how you organize your space, uh, that'd be great. Just let me know and post any comments that you'd like in the, in the comment section below. Um, if you uh, enjoyed the video and haven't yet subscribed, then please do consider subscri subscribing to my channel so that you get to see upcoming videos. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, then please click the bell, which will notify you um, as soon as I upload a new video. So as always, many thanks for choosing to spend this time with me. I really appreciate it. And take care, everyone. Difficult times are still outside out there in the world so just take care of yourselves and each other and i will see and speak to you soon bye